Hey everyone, Warner here with the Due Diligence Show and as always I'm here to support you with assessing your risks before you invest in any business. And today I'm discussing lessons learned and I'm focusing on SVB, Silicon Valley Bank and First Republic Bank and what we can learn from those banks when doing due diligence in the future. Well in a past video remember I talked about industry. What's the industry you're going into? Well, the banking industry is a very, very interesting industry. At the bottom of a market like 2008 or 10 is, in my opinion, a great time to invest in banks because the profit margins on banks are insane. Think about it. They're creating money out of thin air and they're lending it to you and they're taking a cut of that lending that they're doing to you. I mean, come on. It doesn't get any better than that. Now, here's the challenge. If you go look at a 10K, which I'll talk about in a different video, which is the annual financial statement of a bank or any publicly traded company which are available online for any company out there in the public sphere and you look at like any bank and you look at how many deposits meaning all the people that put money into that bank right so let's say for I think for First Republic these numbers may not be accurate it was like 160 billion or 170 billion and then they had maybe I don't know, 400, 500 million in short term assets that, that, it, that they could acquire if there was a run on the bank, which is like, it was a really small percentage when I did my numbers, like one, two percent, I mean, really low. So that, what does that tell me? Well, if there's a bank run, which happened on SVB and First Republic Bank, they only have 2%, let's just say, of the money in the bank to cover people taking their money out of the bank. So what happens is one event can take any bank down and that's, those are the type of businesses my due diligence I look to avoid. Now a bank caveat, you, I could get into a bank at the bottom of a market, ride it up and then get out. But mo most of the time I'm not going to invest in a bank or an airline because an airline they just shut down travel and smoked a bunch of airlines. So in your due diligence what we can learn from Silicon Valley Bank and First Republic and the airlines if you look what happened with them is that in my opinion avoid revenue events or events that can tank a company in like one fell swoop like a company like Texas Instruments or Oracle I mean let's look at that beer company I forget what it was but they did some advertising that wasn't sort of in line with mainstream media the stock dropped 20 30 percent I mean the company is still around one event cannot take that business out so lessons learned is avoid in my opinion businesses that can be taken out in one event now going back to Oracle and Texas Instruments Texas Instruments provides analog which is just like think about uh, the sensor in your car which is like a temp sensor it's just taking the temperature reading it and then giving you a digital readout so that sensor that's providing the signal to the digital sensor is what Texas Instruments is producing. And it's using cars, thousands of different businesses are using Texas Instruments. So the chance of Texas Instruments going bust are very low. Oracle provides databases, to uh, database services to companies, like big, big companies. And the chances of those companies all going bankrupt at the same time are very small. But with the banks and the airlines, you have one event that shuts down travel or you have one run on a bank and it's done. This is a huge thing to think about with your due diligence, guys, is where are you putting your money and how safe is that money when it comes? Is there, is there one like black swan event that can take that business down? So those are the lessons learned from Silicon Valley Bank and First Republic. And that's kind of part one. And part two, I'm going to get into, well, when the run on the bank happened and they only had 3% in cash or 4% in cash, well, where did they go? to get the rest of that money. And that's a key thing to know. We're gonna talk about that in the video tomorrow. So thank you for listening. Appreciate your time. If this content provided value for you. I invite you to subscribe to the channel, like and comment and share it with your friends and family. Thank you so much. And I look forward to connecting with you in a future video.